I'm Megan. And I'm Sierra. And, and we're, we're from the Chanastics too. And we have two things to say before we get started with this video. First of all, if you couldn't tell, the background is a different color. That's because we painted the basement. So hopefully they'll be a lot brighter. And uh, right now it's kind of an exception because it's starting to get dark outside. But either way, it's definitely brighter than it normally would be. Second of all, if you couldn't tell, we're wearing matching shirts. And they say nimble sports on them. And that is where we get our bar, our mat, and our beam. And Nimble Sports was so nice to send us these t-shirts because they liked how we use the equipment to teach all of you guys gymnastics. So just to keep in mind, this isn't a sponsored video. We just wanted to say thank you to Nimble Sports for giving us these free shirts. And we love using your equipment. And anyways, we're going to be doing an updated how to do a back walkover on beam. So, let's get started. By the way, Nibble Sports will be uh, linked down in the description. Before attempting a back walkover on high beam, you should first have it on the ground. And after that, you can just try doing it on a really low beam on the floor. Doing it on low beam is pretty much the same as doing it on floor, but your hands are going to be in slightly different form. You're going to have them right next to each other facing a different direction. If someone is spotting you, it's the exact same thing that they would do on ground, but instead they're going to be extra careful to make sure you don't fall off the beam. When you're doing it, just think about putting your hands on the beam, then one foot, and the other. This will take practice, but keep trying, and eventually, you'll get it. It's really not that different. Good luck!